Ladies and gentlemen, we are very, very close to the Goddess of Victory Nikkei second anniversary. And I want to talk about what might be happening. And clearly, like, I don't know anything about what's going to happen except for stuff that I've seen from, you know, the story, what I could kind of assume. So, spoiler alert, if you haven't completed the main story of Goddess of Victory Nikkei and you don't want to be spoiled about it, click off the video now, hurry up and get done with that freaking, you know, story. And then come back here because there are some heavy story implications that come from what has happened prior to now the second anniversary. And of course, again, this is all speculation. So please understand that these are just my thoughts and opinions and respect everybody else in the comments when they have their own thoughts and opinions. So anyways, before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out, obviously, Gamer Subs. They're fantastic and I love them so much. They treat me so, so well. As you can see, I'm wearing, I'm wearing all my getup. I got my, you know freaking space girl hat i got my freaking break yandere shirt it's one of my favorites now i really like this this is super nice and the material is perfecto anyways y'all check out gamer subs like comment subscribe hit that notification bell let's get to 3000 before the end of the year i i'm very hopeful for it we're almost at 2600 so anyways let's dive in to what happened during the first anniversary now i was very very uh privileged to be able to actually you know watch this live i loved the whole verse anniversary spectacle having a niece and shifty there was fantastic it was wonderful and i'm pretty sure we'll get something like that again um but let's go ahead and dive in first they had these optimizations which were pretty cool we got the uh trial shooting which was pretty cool uh weekend bonanza event uh reward ups which is yeah you know all right uh, increases to daily outpost defense reward limits, which was cool. More rewards, pretty easy. Um, skill level reset back for a limited time and new stages added to Lost Sector and uh, Tribal Tower. Now, or Tribe Tower. Now, I expect more of this to happen. Like, it's just a given. I didn't even know the Tribe Tower had a limit. I'm so low <laughs> on mine, so I need to get that done. Um, but yeah, I expect more optimizations to come. Uh, shift ups be like, they're really, really good about talking to their player base and really taking what is being said as like what we want to see in the future in stride and making that happen. Uh, shift up and Kuro games are very, very good about that. Let's go ahead and dive in. We did get a new rapture, which is kind of whatever to me. Um, but this is where we got the introductions to chapter 25 and 26. And at the moment, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Oh man. At the moment, I think that we're at chapter 32. So we might see chapters 33 and 34 take place. Honestly, I no matter what, I think that there's going to be a story event happening during the big live stream. Well, not live stream, but during the big celebration. It's an anniversary. It needs to happen in the first place. So we're going to see some story overlapping. Now, bear in mind, what we're going to get into with this pickup recruitment, right, is going to be what I wanted to talk about when it comes to spoilers. Now... The recent chapters have been centered around Cinderella. Now, why is Cinderella important? Well, Cinderella was the Nikkei that was supposed to lead humanity to, you know, beat the Raptures, but was captured by the Raptures and the Rapture Queen, turned into, you know, Anashiro. And then, you know, she was fighting against the Goddess Squad, where she lost and i guess was put into a cryo sleep of some sort uh then grave found her you know so on and so forth and boom she's back alive as of the last chapter again spoilers i've told you guys like 30 times already spoilers she's back alive she's on our side and like right next to grave uh they're like basically a duo so but i believe that it like just like red hood was the big reveal for first anniversary I believe that Anashiro is going to be the next big unit. And I don't think it's that big of a surprise. If you've been playing Nikkei and going through the story, I think a lot of us have said, you know, the next pilgrim has to be Anashiro. Now, I've made the joke about, wouldn't it be funny if they just put, uh, what's her name? Uh, what was her name? The small pilgrim that works with Crown. I can't remember her name. I feel so. I feel so stupid. I feel so stupid for not re remembering her name. Let me pull it up. Uh, Pilgrim that travels with Crown Nike. I feel so stupid for this. 
No, not crown, you big, dumb, idiot, stupid faces. Chime! That's what it was. It's chime. So, I made the joke about it being chime. And I gotta tell you, my boy Rujo was not very happy with me making that joke. So, I will never make that joke again. But uh, I do believe it's gonna be Anishiro. It makes the most sense, to be honest, to the actual story. And who knows? Like, Red Hood came out with a busted kit. Red Hood is like essential for like story clearing teams and i believe anashiro is going to be the same thing whether she's a burst three or a burst two maybe even a burst one that'd be so cool like i know that with uh crown because she was the last pilgrim to be released during the whole you know kingdom saga or last kingdom she was you know she is a burst two so maybe a burst one that'd be kind of cool i'd like that i like another burst one uh replace the dorothy and all that stuff you know um, but yeah, I'd be stoked regardless. I think Anishiro is going to be great. We're going to get a huge story. I think it's going to talk about what, how Cinderella like became Anishiro in the first place. Or at least that's just my opinion. Maybe it's something in between um, like the Goddess Squad and what happened afterwards with, you know, uh, I just said it, Dorothy's mind break. So who knows? I don't know. Now, here's another thing, right? We did get the free unit crown, or not crown, Snow White Innocent Days, right? I'm gonna make a bold, bold assumption here, because they gotta go big. They gotta go big to top themselves at the first anniversary. I think that we're going to get Grave as a free pilgrim, or even Chime. It could be either one of the two. But I don't think they put Chime solely because of the fact that I think they're saving Chime for the next uh, big story with Crown and Modernia. So my honest opinion is it's going to be Grave. Or hell, maybe somehow, some way, you know, I, I still believe the theory that Grave and uh, Pina have like, you know, ties. Or Pine, whatever her name was. Uh, I believe they have ties, but either way. Um, but yeah, the free unit Pilgrim is going to be there. It has to be, in my personal opinion. Um, so yeah, that's just how I, how I feel about it. Uh, this is when they actually introduced Mog. And I think Mog was, like, amazing. And it still is. I, st I still play it every once in a while. Uh, I think that we'll get another, like, permanent game mode or something announced. And I'd love that. I'd love new game modes to like get daily like stuff going. I wish that Mog did have more daily like activity stuff, but yeah, I think that Mog was like fantastic and they should keep it continuously. All right, here's where we get into costumes, right? So we have Dorothy here and Dorothy made sense because it was a part of that story. And we're talking about Anna Shiro I don't think Anishiro is obviously going to get a costume right out the gate. And I don't think there's going to be really any other like massive Nikkei that ties with Anishiro. So it's going to be tough. I know that for a paid skin, you could really put any character, even like not those that are not pilgrims and get something very, very good. But <coughs> I hope we get something very good in regards to a pilgrim costume but i don't know who to pick i really don't know who to pick maybe a rapunzel paid skin it'd be cool to see rapunzel come back maybe be a part of the story with anashiro and then she like relives what happened and all that stuff so who knows um but i do think that oh by the way we did get free tickets which i'm pretty sure we're gonna get anyway and they, they're probably gonna double it up um but i think that with the free costume Right? I think we're going to get an Isabel costume. Now, before anybody gets freaking, like, booty hurt, right? To me, Haran had no reason to get a new costume outside of the fact that she's gorgeous, right? And that she was a pilgrim. I think that they'll continue that route with putting costumes on characters that aren't normally played for teams, but are hot. So I think Isabel is going to be the next one that gets a free uh, costume, or at least that's the hope for me. I love Isabel. I think she's great. Then, of course, big story stuff, but that's really all they had for what was going on. And to be honest, man, 
I think that second anniversary has potential to beat out first anniversary. I know that people are like, oh, Red Hood's great, and I love Red Hood. I think she's hot. But Anna Shiro, though? I'm just saying. So, to me, I think that second anniversary has a lot, a lot of potential. Let me know in the comments down below your theories of what's coming to second anniversary. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out Gamer Subs, of course. It, it's, it's the best thing on the market, guys. I'm just saying it beats out any other powdered energy drink. Just ask all the creators. So, anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. Love you to death. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.